Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to get set up and start trading on Bittrex by creating an account. So let's get started. All right, so go ahead and just type in Bittrex.com as shown above right here. Go ahead and click on login. And you're gonna go ahead and see an option that says sign up and input a email account that you want to go ahead and use. So I made a test account just for the purpose of this video. Go ahead and select a password, usually something alphanumeric, something strong and secure. All right, agree to the Bittrex terms of condition and sign up. Then go ahead and validate that you're not a robot. So click on the vehicles, pretty easy. This should take uh, no more than a couple of minutes. All right. And it looks like we are all set up. No, we're not. Okay, so let's go ahead and choose something that's alphanumeric with an uppercase and lowercase. Alrighty. Okay, let's go ahead and go over this process again. and it looks like we're all set up. So once you finalize everything and you input everything correctly, um, Bittrex will go ahead and send you a registration email. So here it is, Bittrex account verification. Go ahead and click on the link and you'll be successfully validated or verified. Go ahead and log in. All right. This is like on the first time that you log in. Um, afterwards, it doesn't ask you to go through the robot verification steps all the time. All right, so once you're logged in, uh, I want you guys to go ahead and click on settings so that we can get something very important out of the way. So you'll see over here on the left hand side something that says two factor authentication. And what this is, it's a high secure um, two step verification factor. And so um, the way that it works you have to download a Google, any type of authenticator app. Um, I personally like to use Google Authenticator just because it's very common and universal um, and you can use it for other Google applications and whatnot. So um, once you go ahead and you download that app, go ahead and use it by uh, scanning the code that you see right here and then um, Google Authenticator or the Authenticator app will go ahead and uh, show a six digit authenticator code which you would input here and then you enable. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate you guys how you go about it. But before, um, I do wanna go ahead and back up the security key just to make sure that if we ever lose um, the phone that we're setting it up with and whatnot, someone else has access to the key or I myself have access and I'm not locked out of my account. So the way I like to save this is actually um, go to your search, this is for PC, and click on the snipping tool. And this is gonna allow you to go ahead and make like a, a customized screenshot. So I'm just gonna take a screenshot of my key, then I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna go ahead and name it key. Bitrix and save. And now I have a backup of my key. 
So once we make that backup, let's go ahead and actually authenticate it with the Authenticator app. So let's go ahead and click on, uh, on your app, touch scan barcode. You'll go ahead and scan it. The app is going to tell you that it's generated a code for Bittrex, which I will punch in right now. And we are all set to go. Now, you'll see over here that the two-factor authenticator is actually pending. And you'll see right here, check your email for instructions on how to verify two-factor authentication. If you wish to cancel, then hit the cancel. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to go ahead and verify that. Go to our email and click on the two-factor authentication email. So this will be the link you click to verify that you do indeed want to use the 2FA authenticator. And we're going to go ahead and punch it in again. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and punch in that six digit authenticator code that Google Authenticator is gonna generate just for Bittrex again. And it is officially enabled. So we're gonna go and hit home and we're all set with the two-factor authenticator. And this is really important. Um, it really prevents any security breaches on the account. So we really recommend it and it's about the safest way to go especially when you're trading cryptocurrency. Now, um, let's go ahead and go back into the settings and talk about some of the different type of accounts that you can have with Bittrex. And the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is upgrade to basic. Because if you see right now on this basic account that just has an email, a password, and that's about it, you have a daily withdrawal limit of zero bitcoins so that's no good so let's go ahead and upgrade to basic and what that is it's just a standard platform for any account it's your first name middle name last name date of birth your country your address um, and the passport number which is optional and then you just go ahead and submit that and that would upgrade you to a basic amount that will actually give you a limit of uh, three bitcoins. So once you upgrade to a basic amount, a, big, a basic account, um, you'll go ahead and have a daily withdrawal of three bitcoins, which is a lot. <laughs> so it's a lot in US dollars and, um, and that's good, you know, and even though you don't have, even though if you feel like you don't have that kind of money right now or the sufficient funds, to be withdrawing that kind of amount, um, it's still good to have your account verified because, I mean, you saw, if you go back to the summary, your daily withdrawal limit right now is zero bitcoins, meaning that you can't withdraw anything unless you try and verify and have some sort of basic account. Now, um, right here, you're going to go ahead and see the different levels of verification. And as I mentioned, if you upgrade to a basic account, you'll have a daily withdrawal limit of three bitcoins. Then if you enhance your account and upgrade it to uh, the enhanced option, well, let's go ahead and click on enhanced verification. So um, first you'll have to upgrade to a regular basic verification, a regular basic account. And once you've uh, upgraded to a basic account, you can go ahead and upgrade to the enhanced. And now what the enhanced gets you, it gets you a daily withdrawal limit of 100 Bitcoin per day. And that's if, of course, you have the two-factor enabled, which is what we did from the get-go. So um, once you have uh, you know, your account up to basic, and you know, you wanna go ahead and enhance it so that you have that big, that crazy uh, daily withdrawal limit. Um, you'd have to submit a couple of these things like your passport and um, your passport and some basic records, uh, you know, that state that it is you, uh, like a government ID, 
that shows uh, your picture and whatnot, and then you go ahead and you upgrade to an enhanced account. And like I said before, um, make that verification anyway, because even if you don't have the money right now, you never know if you hit big and you might want to go ahead and cash everything out as soon as possible. So that'll give you that, um, you know, at least the possibility to have that 100 daily Bitcoin withdrawal. And um, it's very useful, you know, it, it's very useful and we really recommend it just so that you're completely upgraded and ready to become very successful in your tradings in cryptocurrency on Bitrix. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, then go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. And on the next video, we'll be talking about how to deposit and withdraw on Bitrix. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.